Yo, we're back with another highly anticipated video. For this video, we're back to Windbreaker, looking at Sabbath Crew's leader and how to dress like wooing. Like always, we will look at Wuin's outfits that he has worn over the entire webtoon, go over what he's wearing, and how much it costs. I will also at the end give alternatives or recommendations of his outfits. If you haven't seen all the How to Dress Like videos, I've got a playlist above. Anyways, let's first start off with Wuin's physical features. Before learning how to dress like a character, it is important to know all of his physical features, as it does play a role in how a character is dressed. Wuin is relatively short compared to the rest of his crew, but is actually listed as 175 centimeters, the same height as J. Joe. Regardless of this, Wuin definitely does exude short energy, although not in a bad way, clearly being seen as attractive by many people. I mean, look at these comments. Wuin wears hats a lot, but we have seen his hair underneath a fair few times. His haircut can either be seen as the Sigma Peaky Blinders haircut, which is an undercut that sees no fading or tapering on the sides and aggressively goes from sides to top, or a French crop haircut, a relatively popular men's haircut of today that is similar, although features a nice fade from the top to the sides. I guess this could also be a variation of the two block as well, but I don't really think so. If you want a haircut similar to Wuin's, the French crop would definitely be my choice as it looks better and more modern than the Peaky Blinders cut. Using pomade or some other styling product would do good in giving the top some texture. Wuin's bad boy aesthetic is also assisted by his facial piercings and tattoos. He definitely has a lot of piercings. Two eyebrow piercings, ear piercings in each ear, bottom lip piercings and even a tongue piercing. Pairing this look with the hand, knuckle and neck tattoos, Wuin's image, despite his smaller stature, exudes more maturity, or at least less of an innocent look. If this is your type, then this is your type, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, all of these physical features can bring your mind to a type of person that would exist in real life. And whilst you don't have to be this kind of person to dress like Wuin, this is the vibe that Wuin is going for. Now, after all that, Let's start to look at literally every single outfit Wuin has worn so far in the webtoon, so long as I haven't missed any. In his introduction outfit, we see Wuin in a... Huh? Damn. To be honest, I don't remember Wuin dressing this boring in his outfits, but I guess at the start, most characters did. Keep this in mind, but it is quite funny that Vinny and Wuin share a couple of clothing pieces, and in this case, styles. Here, Wuin is seen in a black Adidas three-stripe track top, and yellow Adidas track bottoms. Unless I clarify, a top and bottom Adidas track suit costs around 70 US dollars for each piece. This may also be a good time to mention Wuin's color motif. The main visual identifier of Wuin, or I guess in simpler terms, his favorite color is yellow. In a lot of his outfits, we will see the yellow motif appear again and again. Here it is with his track pants and of course his yellow tinted sunglasses. All but one pair of sunglasses I've seen him wear are unknown to myself, but I will recommend a pair of glasses in the later section. This tracksuit fit is definitely his most boring in my opinion, so we'll move on. After another Tripoluski, here we have Wuin in, once again, a long sleeve that I covered in my Vinnie Hong video. Here we have the undercover Supreme collab, Anarchy long sleeve in black. On Grailed, a size medium of this top was at a price of 60 US dollars, or a size large at 87 US dollars. This is styled with a black hat with a bulldog clip seemingly attached to the brim. I don't think this is a brand, but if it is, then please let me know in the comments below. This fit is alright, and it is cooler than his last fit, but is definitely a product of the early Windbreaker art style. Here, we have Wuin in the same orange long sleeve that Joker was wearing, and psych! This is actually meant to be a V-Lone and Fragment collab long sleeve. Fragment is a Japanese brand by Hiroshi Fujiwara that you may know for their Lightning Bolt logo, Travis Scott Lowe's, or for me, the Jordan 1 Fragments. V-Lone is... a brand. Whilst not one of my favorites, I only own one V-Lone tee, it is definitely a big part of streetwear history. Namely, for its meteoric rise and potential to be the next off-white, for it to become overplayed, over-collabed, and overshadowed by the controversy of Young Lord or ASAP Bari's violent history. 
This long sleeve, I don't think exists in real life. At least I can't find it. If you like the orange color and VLearn logo, then this VLearn long sleeve on Groud was the closest I found for $405. And if you liked the Fragment collab, then the hoodie is selling on Groud for $150 US dollars. Moon's next outfit he is wearing is a long sleeve that I believe is original to the webtoon. If I'm mistaken, correct me, but the design on the back of the long sleeve is definitely the Sabbath Crew logo. Wuin's next outfit is a Tripoloski special, this time with the yellow motif being his track top. He's wearing it with pink bottoms this time as well. His shirt is really cool though, being the Supreme Sade tee in black. This was the collab with Sade Adu, a British Nigerian singer who you've definitely heard before. This shirt has a photo of the artist with the writing, Too Supreme, Your Love is King, Sade, X. A pretty cool top that looks kind of crap on Wuin but is pretty hard in real life. I do appreciate the potential intentional color match of the text and the yellow motif, but maybe I'm giving Jo Young Sok a bit too much credit here. Wuin's next outfit is, finally, different to the long sleeve and Tripoloski fits, but is very brief. Here we see Wuin once again in those yellow glasses and a Balenciaga black cap. This cap retails for around 400 US dollars. This is styled with tracksuit bottoms and a leopard print coat. To be honest, this fit is super random, and whilst collecting these screenshots was surprising me on how Wuin used to dress. Wuin's next outfit is another long sleeve outfit, this time a Sabbath Crew webtoon original. He is rocking it with tracksuits, which I wish I could identify, but I can't. It's added ass, but the logo and text to me are unclear. It kind of looks like it says FC something, so this buy-in one was the closest I found, but I'm not sure. The side could say FC Barcelona, but I'm probably tripping. The hat is once again the same $400 hat, and the shoes are the infamous Balenciaga Speed Sneaker, or Balenciaga Sock Shoes, as most people know them by. These retail for about $850 US dollars. From about the next outfit onwards, we say goodbye to the previous style of fits and enter into a better looking period for Wuin. I think to summarize early Wuin's style is a clear yellow motif being present in basically all of these outfits as well as a relatively basic silhouette of a long sleeve or tracksuit. I think this was personally a surprisingly disappointing revisit of Wuin, as I always remembered him for good outfits for some reason. Beginning with his next outfit though, we start to see some better looking outfits, albeit with the occasional Sabbath Crew branded top. Okay, now we're getting to some nice outfits. Here we have Wuin in track pants, a black hat, and some white vans. The white vans look to me to be these cloud sunset old schools. Never seen them, but they are one with a fully white looking shoe and black stripe, similar to the illustration. They aren't really selling anywhere right now, but old schools usually retail for about 100 US dollars. The jacket Wuin is wearing here is super nice and absolutely makes this outfit. It is the supreme faux fur bomber jacket from fall winter 2017. This is such a cool looking jacket that sells pretty expensive on ground. One listing is being sold for 1800 US dollars in a size large, and another was listed for 1250 US dollars as well. When I was visiting Japan in January, this style of jacket was surprisingly super popular. I have no idea why or how, but this exact type of jacket was everywhere. Maybe every 20th young person had on this type of jacket with the lettering placed on the back of the jacket. I will talk about how well people dressed, especially in Osaka, in another video, but it was so weird to me, especially since I recognized it as the Supreme collab from 2017. If this is a popular design from before Supreme, let me know down below. But like, even searching on Google right now, I can show you how many of these Supreme looking jackets there are being sold on Mokari and Rakuten. Like, come on, this one says Sublime. But to be fair, they weren't all ripoffs. I remember seeing one that, if my memory serves me correct, was Converse. But anyways, this was finished off with an off-white industrial belt hanging off his pants into the wind, acting as the yellow for the outfit. The belt retails for around 250 US dollars. Super cool outfit that whilst researching this video was a nice reminder of Japan. I was super tempted to try and find a jacket like this for myself, but I know unless I found the Converse Tokyo one I was looking for, would just make me think it's a cheap imitation of the Supreme one. Okay, now onto Wuin's next fit, and look what we have here. It's so funny how many pieces Wuin shares with Vinny, but here's another. Here, we have Wuin in the same Gosha Adidas top Vinny wore in part four. 
This top retailed for 130 US dollars, but a used white one was listed on Grailed for 300 US dollars a while back. Here, we see Wu in wearing the jacket from my favorite fit of his so far, this time with a different pair of glasses. Initially, I thought these were some Versace glasses, but they are actually a pair of 1.1 millionaire glasses by Louis Vuitton. They retail for about 850 US dollars. All right, here we have Wuin in a nice fit with the yellow motif being his hoodie. Wuin styles this with a white Stone Island cap, which sells for around 140 US dollars. Wuin layers the hoodie with the North Face Supreme collab snakeskin coach's jacket. The snakeskin is also a staple of Wuin's character design, his helmet and phone case reflecting this. On Grailed, one of these jackets is selling for 170 US dollars in a size large. In this outfit, we can see Wuin in basically a full Gucci fit. This Gucci technical jersey, or another name, taped logo track jacket and pant combo. It was kinda hard to find the retail prices for these pieces, but Farfetch had the jacket listed at 1200 US dollars and the pants at 800 US dollars. Whilst you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of full tracksuit fits, this fit looks pretty good on Wuin. Maybe it's because it's baggier, not zipped up, and just all around a pretty good looking tracksuit. Not too sure. On his feet, he has Gucci slides, which retail for 340 US dollars. His hat was a bit of a tricky one to figure out. At first, I thought it was like a weird looking cause hat, or maybe one that Jo Young Suk made up for the character, due to me not really recognizing anything like it. However, after a bit of research, it is actually from a Korean brand, 99 percentages, a brand that is seemingly only popular in Asia. Looking at the website, they have some pretty cool and unique pieces that if I was to visit South Korea, would definitely check out. This cap in black is currently being sold retail for 240 US dollars on the 99 percentages store. And the same cap in yellow was sold on Grailed for 260 US dollars. All around, nice outfit. Kind of like his tracksuits from the very start of the webtoon, just way better looking. Also, a nice yellow article of clothing that is unique to Korea. For Wuin's next outfit, we see him in V-Loan again, this time with a red staple hoodie. This hoodie was listed on Grailed for 300 US dollars, with this really bad photo listing. It is also being sold on eBay for 385 US dollars, an oversized fit on Wuin, which gives a comfortable vibe, especially when he has his hoodie up over his Stone Island cap. Next outfit is a Sabbath crew fit that we covered in my Joker video, this time with a Stone Island cap. Next outfit, once again, Wuin is wearing V-Loan. Specifically, he is wearing the Stay Away From Your Friends hoodie. This hoodie is currently listed on Grailed for 360 US dollars in a size large, as well as being previously listed in a size medium for 400 US dollars. This outfit solidifies Wuin's brand identity with V-Loan, canonically making him a V-Loan warrior. Wuin's next outfit is the same as his prison visit outfit. The one after that being this super nice Vedamont Anarchy hoodie. Super dope hoodie. Baggy fit, nice logo, and a postage sticker on the hoodie, which gives it such a unique look. This hoodie was sold out, but was priced at 680 US dollars. One listing in a size extra small was listed on Grailed for 490 US dollars, and another extra small is currently listed for nearly double the price, at 800 US dollars. After another Sabbath crew fit when he nearly fought Owen, we see Wuin once again in the Supreme North Face snakeskin jacket, this time with an orange Stone Island cap. This cap in particular is the Supreme Stone Island collab in the color coral. One of these caps was listed on Grailed for 100 US dollars, another horrific photo as well. Orange is also a substitute for yellow sometimes, as we will see later on. After one more Sabbath crew fit, we end part 3 and move on to part 4. Part 4, as we know from our previous Windbreaker fashion breakdowns, is where the outfits get a whole lot better. We can see this change in this incredibly detailed illustration of Wuin's fit here. His jacket is quite unique, a mix of logos that had me confused at what it was. Fendi logo here, Versace there, it was confusing until I researched, and yes, it is a part of the Fendi Versace collaboration. Fendachi. <laughs> Funny name aside, this is specifically the Fendachi Baroque satin shirt in gold, a super unique piece that I could not see listed for a price anywhere. 
for his hat, we have a collab with one of my favorite brands that I do not own, Gallery Department. More specifically, their collab with French brand London. This cap is currently listed on Grailed for 175 US dollars, as well as this one in a slightly better looking wash for 400 US dollars. On his feet, Wuin is wearing a pair of Gucci slides, but not just any, but a Palace collab version. This pair was listed on Grailed for 280 US dollars. All around, this is quite a unique fit, the jacket clearly being the statement piece, but done fairly well, styled around fairly plain and neutral colours to make the jacket stand out more. The paint splatter of the gallery department hat also kinda matches the mixed colours throughout the jacket, which is a detail that I thought was perhaps intentional. Also to note is that either the Versace jacket or orange lens of Wuin's glasses could be the colour for his motif. For his next outfit, we see Wu In with the orange motif in both his glasses and orange stone island cap that retails for 150 US dollars. This outfit is a favourite of mine for obvious reasons. Here we have Wu In in a full chrome heart sweat fit. As y'all know, I mess with chrome hearts heavy. In Japan, I actually was able to visit many chrome stores as well as so many Rincon stores and picked up some chrome pieces myself. I'll delve into it in a later video, but Japan was truly the place for chrome hearts. Although the chrome stores were more expensive than the states, Rincon was actually priced pretty good, which is why I copped two mental pieces that I got tax free. Anyways, tangent over. Whilst these pieces aren't necessarily my favourite from chrome hearts, as they are really the high beastie type clothes that don't even have any leather or silver, I still think it looks hard as hell on Wuin. The multicolored triple cross hoodie was sold at Rincon for 188,000 yen, or 1300 US dollars, and the pants are currently listed for 99,000 yen, or 660 US dollars. After feeling the material hands on at Rincon, I can say that whilst heavy, the price tag for these pieces are quite ridiculous. And for Rincon, I think the markup is quite high compared to if you were to get these at the Chrome stores in the States. That being said, this outfit looks super nice on Wuin in my opinion, despite being a tracksuit hoodie matching combo. In this next outfit where we see Wuin in a club, Wuin is wearing the orange stone island cap, his lenses being orange as well. Once again, orange replacing yellow is his motif. His jacket is eccentric, similar to the Fendachi jacket, this time being Louis Vuitton. More specifically, it is this tie-dye denim shirt. This is a super unique piece from Louis Vuitton that incorporates its monogram design on a denim shirt, but with a tie-dye twist. Pretty sick if you ask me. Currently, it is inquiry only on the Louis Vuitton website, which in other words means sold out. On Grailed, there is a listing, although with no photos of the shirt in hand, which is a bit sus, but anyways, was listed for 4,775 US dollars. This is a dope fit on Wuin, and certainly fits his eccentric personality. After a repeat of the Fendachi jacket, Wuin's last outfit is this blue hoodie black hat combo. If someone knows the black hat he is wearing, then let me know in the comments. Apart from the pink text that spells out a word I can't quite make out, it does seem like your regular baseball cap in black. The blue hoodie is a nice boxy fitting hoodie by Vetements, the Vetements unicorn hoodie. This hoodie features a white unicorn in front of a white rainbow, an outfit that matches Joker and suits Wuin's personality. This hoodie is currently listed on Grailed for 1500 US dollars in a size large. And that's it! Apart from this Sabbath crew fit with a black hat that says 464 that I cannot recognize, that is all of Wuin's outfits, so long as I haven't missed any. I think we can all agree that Wuin has some really nice fits, as we all expected. I think it is a feat. As a perceptually short character, Wuin still outstyles a lot of the cast. Even though he is technically not short, being about the average height of a young Korean, he is an example of a character that isn't 6 foot plus that styles well consistently. How does he do it? Well, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what. He is still conventionally attractive with good body proportions and a fit body, so that always helps. But apart from that, he often dresses a bit oversized, with his top draping over his shoulders, seen with his hoodies and jackets, as well as his tracksuits, namely the Gucci one. He also often wears accessories, like all of his piercings, his glasses, as well as his hat. I think the accessories are a big aspect of how he looks stylish and trendy as well. These aspects of him, making him look more artistic, free, and expressive. 
in this recommendation section, I think most of the clothes, such as tracksuits, coach jackets, and the whatnot, have already been looked at pretty thoroughly in my Vinnie Hong and Joker videos respectively. Instead, in this recommendation section, I will look briefly at two of Wuin's accessories that are key to his unique, stylish, and trendy look. That being his glasses and his hat. For his glasses, the polarization of his sunglasses do make him look trendy. Whilst wearing sunglasses everywhere you go might not necessarily be practical, Wuin is an eccentric dresser with an eccentric look. So wearing colored polarized glasses everywhere definitely fits the bill. When looking for glasses similar to Wuin's, I quickly found these black square frame sunglasses from Korean brand Gentle Monster, which I talked about in my JJ video. Whilst I don't know what exact frames his usual glasses are, Relative to the Louis Vuitton pair, these are affordable, priced at 230 US dollars. I recommend experimenting and trying out different colors that suit you, however. Don't just go for yellow. Maybe you're more red, blue, or purple, I don't know. But I think sticking with a color and basic elements of your wardrobe around the color would do well in establishing a Wuin type fit. This leads me to his hats. All of the hats Wuin wears usually fit in the category of classic baseball caps or dad hats. These are hats where the profile is usually low to medium, has a buckle or velcro closing on the back of the hat, and was super popular along with trucker hats some time ago. Whilst I think these type of hats have their place and look good on some, for me, a nice fitted hat will always look infinitely better than any other baseball hat. The main difference of the fitteds being no closure at the back, in other words, zero snapback or velcro. The fitteds also have a medium to high crown, which is different to the hats Woon was wearing. I think the decision on which hat you should wear all goes down to head shape, but I personally like the look of fitteds, and in my opinion, wearing a fitted has so many unique aspects that make fitted hat wearers a shared community based on how each wearer personally styles their fitteds. Let me show you by demonstrating everything you do before you wear your hat. First, you buy your fitted. You buy them either from a place that specializes in fitteds like lids or order from New Era themselves. These fitteds are the 5950s, the standard when it comes to fitted hats. When buying from New Era, the prices range anywhere from 75 Australian to 90 Australian, but are often on sale for half price. When buying fitteds, it is important to look at the bottom of the brim of the hat, ensuring that the color is not black, as you'll be flamed for owning a cheap hat, half joking, half not. After picking your hat, you then decide whether to take off the stickers or not. What was once taboo is now somewhat the standard with new fitted enthusiasts, taking off all the stickers being the new standard. After that decision is made, you then need to bend the brim. This is universal. It's not the swag era anymore. Flat snapbacks are not the vibe, so bending the brim is mandatory. How much you bend it and how you do so is up to you. Then that's technically all you need to do. But other ways to express yourself with your fitted is getting stitch work done, placing pins on your hat, and more. Also, details like material, color, patches, and team logo that make up the hat make fitteds different, even though they may be repping the same team. Either way, the hobby of collecting fitted hats is something I've done for a bit now, and I thought now would be a good time to share it, as Wuin wears a lot of hats. I think matching most of these hats to the polarization of your glasses would give a similar eccentric and trendy vibe that Wuin gives in his outfits. Obviously, you can't have all your hats be yellow, some staple black or grey hats being added, but yeah, I think fitteds are definitely the vibe. And that's it. If you enjoyed, let me know by liking the video and commenting down below. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel for my next upload. Who do you guys want to see next? Windbreaker, Lookism, any other manhua, let me know. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you guys. Bye!